I'm out for a walk with Frankie, the quiche hound puppy. He's been with us for about a week, and I wanted to show you how our daily walks look. Now, our daily walks aren't very long. Uh, they're about 10 to 15 minutes, uh, usually twice a day. But I do fit a lot of training in in that short amount of time. It's because I use all of his tools, all of his training, uh, for every walk. So, for example, of course, when we go for a walk, he's healing. Here he is with his on-leash heel. He knows to auto-sit when I stop. Good boy, Frankie. I could even heal. Good boy. Put him into a down. Down. Good job, Frankie. Stay. Walk away from him. I can use his recall. Tom. Good boy. Good job, Frankie. And right there is pretty much the entire program, except for place. Heel. Good boy. Uh, so, I mean, I could just do a few reps of that. I could do a long down stay. I could do a long distance down stay. I could put him in a sit while I talk to a neighbor. Um, just get creative with what you want to do with your dog and live with them and use the training for your daily life, the way that you like to live with your dog. It's pretty simple, but it gets a lot of training in without even having to think about it. Hey, right, Frankie. As your dog becomes better and better on your daily walks and your training drills, Think of ways to challenge them. Don't, don't keep it too easy. So for Frankie, uh, he gets distracted by smell, so I'm walking over some grass. He also gets distracted by things that roll by quickly, so I'll have some rollerbladers going by, maybe some bikes. Just don't say, oh, my dog doesn't do well with that, and avoid it forever. Meet it head on, get your dog through it. They'll thank you for it. Hey, Frank. Sit. Good boy. Frank. Now you can go smell.